Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm excited to be taking a look at this video for you all today. This time we are going back to Russia to scrutinize an open, strictly competition. This is a very difficult competition to judge, and I can't wait to give you guys my two cents. So let's get right into it. Yeah, that's a nice tempo for a warm-up. <laughs> like I said, the Open is kind of an ambiguous competition. You just don't know who's going to be in the competition. You don't know what dance levels are really represented by that term Open. And therefore, the band might play some fast songs like this. So, yeah, people are looking like they can dance pretty well. All right, so who are the standouts for me so far? I like those who are not moving too much, just kind of warming up a little bit. So, so far there's the follower, she's got the red dress, white shirt, her, her leader she's dancing with, he's got the blue jacket on. They're kind of my standout so far. And in this couple right here, he's got black shirt, she's got gray pants. Looks like they're coming out first. Nice swing out, yes. Ooh, and even she has some yellow come out of her skirt. That was awesome. But she's doing the switches. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, looking good. I really like that f last follower. She has so much energy. Ah. Oh. Sometimes you got dancers who just outdo the song and the energy, and she was like that, like in a good way. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I learned so much by people's swing out, their personality. You can see so much in that little brief snapshot. I love it. I wish people would do it more. Boom. Why not? Why not put aerials in there? This is the Strictly folks. You could put some aerials and some choreography in there. So far, I'm really impressed. Not everybody's just whipping out a ton of choreography. It does look like it's flowing a little bit from choreography to social. But I will tell you, I haven't seen any choreography that really just stands out as choreography aside from those aerials. Yeah, that was good. See how they're emphasizing the music there? That's that's beautiful, because I felt something when the, the trumpet player did that. Was that the trumpet player playing? I thought it was. But when they played, I felt it, and then the dancers mirrored that. Yeah. Oh, this is main main uh, stem. Yes, 
I almost said Main Vein. That's a Jamiroquai song for you folks who like Jamiroquai. I always get that title mixed up with Main Stem from Duke Ellington. A really good song by the band. Boom. Yes. I love that kickball change. I love when people do that. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up! Line them up! Yes! I love it when they do that. Come on, audience, wake up! Looks like everybody in the audience is really asleep. Might be late, I don't know. But I do get it. During competition time at events, that's when, if you're a social dancer like me, that's when I take my break and I just kind of bounce. Or I have to judge a competition like this because I'm dead tired. <laughs> just dead tired. Because I usually get there early and then leave at the crack of dawn and then you get up and go teach classes at 11 o'clock in the morning. I love it. Yeah, that was a good one. Let's talk about it. Okay, that was interesting. It was indeed interesting. I gotta get off uh, by starting with my philosophy. Again, I don't believe everybody gets a trophy in life. Not everybody deserves to get a trophy. I believe hard work is something that is worth recognizing, but I also think that recognizing potential the potential for something new and the potential for something um, special that hasn't yet been introduced has to be recognized. But how do you actually recognize those things? Because obviously when you're doing swing dancing competitions, people are judged on their perfection of whatever they are trying to accomplish. Either it's imitating someone else's dance style and doing it perfectly for the judges to give you, you know, to clap, or if it's, you know, maybe some other point, maybe it's to, get yourself out there and to force yourself to see what you can do under pressure. I don't know what motivates people all the time, but I do know as a judge, I am not just looking to see who can master swing dancing in terms of just the craftsmanship part. Yes, you can do the swing out, you can do all the different things everybody else has done, but there's something special about being able to recognize potential in people before they actually get there and so in this one this competition day i want to give you guys a couple of different perspectives of what i noticed first off i'm just going to tell you my winner right now for a, the couple because this wasn't really a an, an open strictly in my opinion and open strictly for me means the basic level someone who is an intermediate to to an intermediate advanced dancer who's not quite striving to be professional level yet, but they're, this is maybe their first competition. And I've seen some of these dancers in other competitions, and yet I haven't seen some of these dancers. So I know it's like a mixed collage of different dance abilities, which doesn't make it fair for me when I think of it that way. So I gotta recognize those who have worked the hardest and where their skill sets are at. So my first place couple goes to this couple right here. Uh, they both had kind of matching outfits, like their outfits. He had black, she had gray, he had gray pants. And obviously what I like about them, 
is that they have all three elements that I'm looking for. Control, timing, and creativity. Now, obviously this one is a strictly open, so there is a little bit of choreography, but primarily you wanna see a bunch of social dancing and how well can they do that? That's, that's what I like to look for. And I think this couple really represented the, the apex of all of the other couples in terms of uh, their ability to control the Lindy Hop technique. Like that variation, that's not a simple variation to do. Even in their second set, when they come out here, they're doing some stuff that's pretty complicated, but the things that they're doing imply that they have a deeper understanding of the technique. Like this variation here, you're not an open, strictly contestant doing stuff like that. You, you've been doing the technique for a while, so I gotta recognize talent and hard work when I see it. So th this section here, this tells me they have an ear uh, for listening to the music. They've got maturity enough to know when to stop moving and when to move. And most of the dancers at an open, strictly Lindy competition level, in my mind, they're not there yet. They're not there ready to understand those nuances. So that couple obviously was the best. I probably would have had that couple uh, in a uh, advanced strictly competition, not necessarily just an open. Because open generally means like not quite beginner, but above that. Uh, for some people, and traditionally that's how it's been whenever I judge those competitions. So I don't know, like I said, it could be the fact that it's just the only competition that you have that's not the pro level and you just throw everybody into that competition. So that's the couple that I like the most. Now, let me get back to what I was talking about in terms of people's potential and the stuff that I wish people would hang on to whenever they get better in their technique. Because here's what tends to happen. When a dancer goes through the maturation process of taking classes and social dancing and repeating that process, they begin to chisel out things that are necessary. But in doing that, they end up cutting out those very pivotal things that help them be unique. And that's the part that you don't want to miss out on. And, and generally, those are the things that you don't like about yourself as a dancer that other people tend to point out in a positive way. And so it, it is a bit frustrating to be in that zone where you really are a bit insecure about the things that identify you as unique as a dancer. But I'm telling you right now, don't abdicate those things too much. I, I encourage you to take the criticism wisely from people who are better than you and, and, and also you know, take it with a grain of salt. They might be telling you to learn a specific style without telling you to do that, which is totally subjective but I don't want you to lose you. And so I gotta point out my favorite dancer in this competition was this person right here. She was awesome. She had uh, red pants on, like a red flowy shirt right here. And she's coming out with these swivels and, and the sync of patience with her footwork. I just, I loved all of her energy. And look at this, the song's not even that hype, but she's hype. <laughs> That's what I like about it and the, the flipping of the hair and the personality. She just has so much to offer that I, I really hope as she continues to work on perfecting the technique that she doesn't totally cut off the thing that makes her her. She's, she's the one that wins the most potential in terms of followers, that that's what I see. And that's what I hope to see more of, is, is more of that dancer um, doing a lot more in the future, but I still wanna be able to recognize that dancer in the future from the past videos. That's the part that I wanna see. Usually, a lot of dancers lose me when they get so good, they forgot where they came from. A lot of people say that, and then in, in another way of saying it is they just forget who their personality is and what their style is, and you miss out on a, a very unique fingerprint and swing dancing. Now, the leader that I liked, this was an interesting choice. What I liked about this leader, this leader right here, he had the blue jacket on and he's dancing with his partner. She's got red. I like the fact that he has so much length, but he doesn't move like a very tall dancer. Look at these swing outs. He's very grounded. His posture is a little different. I love how he swings that right arm back. There's so much there. And I, I really hope he, again, starts to examine what he naturally does well how his body naturally looks and add value to those natural qualities that he has. Because a lot of times taller dancers, they get so insecure that you know, they're, they're, not, they're afraid to move their limbs and so they don't move very much. Or, and shorter dancers do the opposite. You know, they move too much trying to get too much attention that 
it kind of takes away something about their natural quality. So I really like this dancer because it seems as if he has an understanding of just the joy he's feeling in his body and he's not insecure so much about the length and the height that he has naturally. And so I hope he continues to develop that and, and really, really uh, puts the effort into finding what really works for, for him. So that those were the two dancers that I like that I think have the, the greatest potential. And I've got to say, those are my, my winners for the open level. That's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the future. I want to see the new ideas of the future in seed form. That's generally what I'm looking for in the open strictly. So what do you guys think about this competition? Who did you like? Who do you think had the greatest potential? And who was your favorite couple? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are starting Lindy Hop, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's not a long journey. It doesn't take a long time. It does take consistency. It does take discipline. It does take social dancing, but it shouldn't take a long time to understand the concepts. Now, I've spent over 10,000 hours trying to demystify swing dancing so I could teach it to different people with different languages and sh show them how this dance works mechanically in simple language. And I've broken that down. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, I encourage you to check out my school below. I also include about 25 different dances, uh, not dances, but different uh, classes that I put together. And these classes really highlight some of my original art that I've added to the Lindy Hop story. So if you're interested in that and you wanna get more inspiration, I encourage you to check it out. It doesn't take a long time, guys. It really doesn't. And I encourage you, when you get good, don't forget where you come from. Don't forget, this is about swing dancing. Let's not just make it about getting first place or, or winning the next big thing. I hope out of all things that you win at being a better you as a dancer. And I think the whole scene would benefit from that too. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class. And if I don't see you in my class, I look forward to seeing your comments. Take care.